Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the library and today we're going to talk about how to use the database Statista. So when you get to the library website, uh, go down here to electronic databases and down here kind of towards the bottom of the list is a database called Statista. And as you can imagine uh, from the name, this is a database that purely searches for statistics. So we're going to click on that. When this opens up, it's a pretty easy database to use. Um, we can just type in what kind of statistics we're looking for here. It's not going to have everything. Um, it kind of leans heavily towards like government reports, things like that. So they're pretty um, official statistics. Also, there's a lot of financial and business statistics in here. Let me type in, uh, let's say, household income. And what this database specializes in, so I type that in, I'm going to click search. It specializes in taking large reports and boiling them down to visuals for you, to a visual graph for you. So it brings me back all these results. There's 264 different results I might want to take a look at. This first one looks good. Median household income in the U United States, 1990 to 2011. If I click on that, it's going to bring up this report. And you can see it, it boils this report down to um, just a visual here. And if I mouse over any one of these items in this bar graph, it'll tell me the median income in U.S. dollars in 2011 was 50,054. You can see it was a little bit higher in 2010, and it was higher in 2009, 2008. So you can see the household income, median household income, kind of peaked, looks like, in uh, 07, and then it's been steadily going down for the last few years. Now, if you didn't like the, uh, the format of this graph, it's in this format right here. You could click a different format over here under representation. And then it would think about it for a few seconds here and then reformat it for you. So you might like it more. You can definitely see that decline very sharply there with this kind of a graph. This might be a better graph for you. Or we can try a different style over here if I click a different style of graph. I think that was the first one we had. Let's take a look at this one over here. I think this last one will just give us pure data. So now if you just want to see the data, you just want to see the numbers, it can format it in that way too. Let me, was this the one we came in on here over on the left? Okay. So, and if you like this graph, what you could do, you could download it. If I click download JPEG here, it's going to ask me if I really want this. And there you have this visual that comes up you get a graphic for that graph you could right click on that and you could you could save it or let's see here I guess I could go here how could we save this that's the interesting thing about this let me see maybe I needed to say um, save when I let's go back and try that again I'm gonna say download JPEG and from my computer here if you I'm working with the latest Microsoft you probably would click then save save as and then I could tell it where to save this document and then I could go back to it later and drop it into a paper. You could also download a PowerPoint of this. Let me cancel this out here. You could download a PowerPoint. I'm going to open this up and it will try to create a little PowerPoint for you here. So it's not not really too huge of a PowerPoint and I personally think that the graphic downloading the graphic is superior to this I'm gonna close that go back here now um, the source for this is the US Census Bureau that's where Statista took a report and boiled it down to these numbers if you wanted to see the full report you would scroll down here and uh, let's see if we can here's the source link so this graph that we have here was put together by reviewing this report, page 31 of this report from the U.S. Census Bureau. When I click on that, I can get the full report here. So it's an 89-page report that they've boiled down from page, they say on page 31, they, uh, they, that's where they got their statistics. So you, you can get the full report if you want. That would probably be useful for you. They took what they thought was the most interesting statistic from this, or this is where they pulled their statistic from. This is their source. So I'm going to close that. Let's go back here 
and we'll talk I'll make another video about how to cite this kind of a report in MLA citation for your papers but I'm gonna leave that until till another video um, let's go back to the home page here and search for something else let's say we're looking for unemployment on unemployment here and their suggestions. Let's see if it's I guess I have to click the search button to get it to go. Unemployment rate in the United States 2012. That looks good. If I click on that again it's going to open up this graph. You can see really visually here 2002, 2003, 2008 and then you can see it really jumps up here in 2009 and then it's slowly been coming down 2012 and just like the other ones you could reformat this in a different style of graph if you'd like or if you just want to get the raw data click on this final one here we'll just get the numbers go back to my initial graph here and then if we wanted to download this you could download a JPEG this is coming from the International Monetary Fund. It's the source. And if we were to go down here, look around, there's the link, the source link that they pulled this information from. Close that out. And um, let's go back to our to our list of uh, studies that we have there. You could also, so these are the, the straight statistics. If you want to uh, U.S. Unemployment Statista Dossier, if you open up, this is a 94 page report on this put together by Statista. Click here for external download and this is a, a really big report they've put together. You click open there. It's going to start downloading this as my computer decides if it really wants to download this or not it's a pretty big report so here we go we're getting the download button here sometimes with these larger reports you just have to wait a little while I might I might bail on this one because it's taking it's taking a while I might choose a smaller one let's see as we wait and wait and wait and you can see this is a PowerPoint they've put together. So if it ever does download, it should be pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Okay. So it downloaded. I could view it here maybe as a slideshow. I'm going to click down here for PowerPoint. It looks like any of these we could click on. It's pretty cool. Click escape to go back to where I can get out of this. And then I close it, go back home. Another thing you can do with this database that I like to do, especially if I'm doing business type research, is you can click on markets. And if I click the market tab, I can kind of browse through different industries. So let's say I'm interested in uh, music and audio. Let's say I want to do look at some statistics, current statistics on music and audio. Number of digital music album downloads in the United States from 2004 to 2011. If I click on that, this will be in millions, these statistics. So you can see 4.6 million downloads in 2004 versus 104.8 million album downloads in 2011. So album downloads digitally has gone way up, way up. And we could contrast this by, we could go back here and do a search for, let's say, maybe CD, CD albums, they're suggesting to me. So I could compare this. Number of albums sold in the music industry, 2000 to 2009. So this is going to be physical albums, like what CDs. And you can see this is the opposite of the digital downloads. This is going down every year. It gets less and less and less. So there is a quick intro to the database Statista. I'm going to make a second video here where I show you how to cite 
uh, in MLA format these, uh, these statistical reports you would find from Statista. So if you have any questions, please contact me. Thank you very much.